there are three degrees of AV block. First degree AV block, the electrical signals are slowed as they pass from the SA node to the AV node, but all of them eventually reach the ventricle. On an ECG, this is characterized by longer PR interval of more than five small squares. First degree AV blocks rarely cause symptoms or problems and generally do not require treatment. Second degree AV blocks are divided further into type 1 and type 2. In type 1, the electrical signals are delayed further and further with each heartbeat until a beat is missing completely. On an ECG, this is seen as progressive prolongation of PR interval followed by a P wave without a QRS complex. This is known as a blocked P wave or dropped QRS complex. The cycle then restarts over. As this usually repeats in regular cycles, there is a fixed ratio between the number of P waves and the number of QRS complexes per cycle. The number of QRS complexes always equals the number of P waves minus 1. In this example, there are four P waves for every three QRS complexes. This is a four to three heart block. Second degree type one blocks are usually mild and no specific treatment is indicated. In type two second degree blocks, some of the electrical signals do not reach the ventricles. On an ECG, this is seen as intermittent non-conducted P waves. The PR interval, however, remains constant in conducted beats. In majority of cases, the successfully conducted QRS complexes may appear broader than usual. In some type 2 blocks, there is a fixed number of P waves per QRS complex. In this example, there are three P waves for every QRS complex, and the condition is described as 3 to 1 heart block. However, as the nature of type 2 block is unstable, this ratio is likely to change over time. Second degree type 2 is less common than second degree type 1, but is much more dangerous as it frequently progresses to complete heart block or cardiac arrest. Implantation of an artificial pacemaker is recommended for treatment of this type of AV blocks. Third degree AV blocks are also referred to as complete heart blocks. In this condition, none of the electrical signals from the atria reach the ventricles. With no input coming from the atria, the ventricles usually try to generate some impulses on their own. This is known as an escape rhythm. On an ECG, two independent rhythms can be seen. A regular P wave pattern represents atrial rhythm, and a regular but unusually slow QRS pattern represents the escape rhythm. The PR interval is variable as there is no relationship between the two rhythms. Patients with third degree heart blocks are at high risk of cardiac arrest. They require immediate treatment, cardiac monitoring, and pacemaker implantation.